After all, it's Butterball, also available fresh. We are Beatrice. Your timing is perfect, Jordy. Today's my first day back. Well, I hardly expect you to be here. Well, I still have the rest of my term to fulfill. And I'm going to do it better than anybody else on this hill. Well, the, the stereo aside from your announcement, I think you look terrific and very happy. Well, that's because I, uh... Now, I know you didn't come all the way over here to talk about that. I hate being so transparent. Hey, only to me. Don't worry about it. So, tell me, what is it? Do you know something about a Congressman Covington? Why? You're not involved with him in any way, are you? No, no. I just need to know what this guy is all about. The man's reputation is more than slightly tarnished, Jordy. He's been called a crook. Now, how did you run across him? I didn't. But I need to know all about this guy, okay? It's just a favor. For a friend. Yes, Dr. Bromberg, the pain has gotten worse, which is why I'm calling you. I need a stronger prescription. What I've already given you is very strong, Leanne. I think you'd better come in to see me. Why? Alternatives. Maybe admission. No, no more hospitals. Look, Dr. Bromberg, we've already gone through all this before. I'm gonna die no matter what you do, so I'm just not interested in any of these treatments that might give me a few more months to end up feeling so bad I just wish I were dead. It doesn't have to be that way, Leanne. All I want is for it to be as pain-free as possible. Is that too much to ask? Uh, Leanne... Is I... it? We're a lot alike, you and I. We both loved once and forever. What does that have to do with whether or not you tell the police who you really are? Because Clarissa would find out. And for what Thomas tells me about her emotional state right now, it would be just enough to put her over the edge. So you want everyone to believe you tried to kill Mark Denning? Uh, yes. And don't look so surprised. I just don't want anything to happen to you. Look, I'm not so happy about being accused of attempted murder myself. So what are you going to do? Just keep protesting my innocence and hope that the police find another lead, another suspect, before they uncover who I really am. Well, there's no reason they should. You kept it a secret this long. Well, that was because only Victor Markham knew who I was. That's not the case now, Zed circle's growing bigger by the minute. Who besides me and Thomas? Mark Denning. How? He put it together piece by piece. He confronted me with it yesterday morning. That's what you two were fighting about. No, no, I kept denying it, but he had put too much of it together already. He was going to stop the wedding, he said. He said he was going to call the whole thing off and tell Clarissa everything. I couldn't let him do that. Terrific. Another motive. Well, the news reports say Denning's still in a coma. He can't tell Clarissa anything. For now. But what about when he comes out of it? She's there by his side when he tells her that uh, I'm Baxter and I'm alive. When Mark Denning comes to, he'll be able to clear you of any suspicion. Really? Luke said Mark Denning was shot in the back of the head. He probably didn't even see who shot him.
Then came woman, in ways they were different, but that was fine. Then came Fruit of the Loom for men, that was fine for him, but not for her. Then, thank goodness, came Fruit of the Loom panties. Same quality, value, and comfort, but in feminine styles and soft pastels made just for her. And all was fine. For a while, Fruit of the Loom panties created just for women. Why am I standing here holding this can of Butterflavor Pam? Soybeans? Nature's soybean helps make Butterflavor Pam cooking spray the low-fat, low-calorie, delicious, buttery way to cook. Buy some. Butter flavor Pam. Tony can't wait to eat. And I can't wait to clean this oven. That'll take forever. Wrong. Only Easy Off Oven Cleaner has this advanced grease penetrating formula. Baked on spills just wipe away. Beautiful. Of course. Fast and easy. That's Easy Off. You know, you can do what you want with your face. When your hair doesn't look good, you look terrible. Before I started using Affinity, my hair had a real problem with breakage and lack of fullness. Time really takes its toll. Affinity is made for hair that time has changed. Its patented formula helps hair resist breaking and thinning. So there's less hair in the brush, more hair here. Fuller hair begins with Affinity. I do love a feeling of generosity in my hair. When my hair looks good, I feel great. So that's all you're gonna tell me, huh? For now? Okay, okay. So you know where to find me. I don't like coming. And I'd be more than glad to do a little digging up on his questionable conduct, if you want. Well, thank you. And if we need to put some pressure on this guy, I'll let you know. But, Trey, I don't understand. I mean, you belong here. You know, wheeling a deal in politics, it suits you. But you hardly believe that you're going to give the whole thing up. I don't want to, Jordy. And I hope I don't have to. But if that turns out to be the price for being with Kelly and my son, so be it. And having a family is not that important to you? Having a family, being with the woman I love, I didn't know how important it was until I almost lost it. You know, it wasn't hard for me to make that speech, renouncing the Senate nomination. All I could think of was, was Kelly, that I had to get her back. That I couldn't go on without her. <laughs> Who would have thought I was such a romantic, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know about romantic, but it's real. I guess you could never really know too much about yourself until you're that much in love with someone. <laughs> you know something about that? No, I'm just learning. Look, brother, I gotta, I gotta get out of here, okay? Okay. But let's get together, the four of us, all right? Four? Okay. There's someone I want you to meet. Hey, great. Thanks for the info, all right? Hey, take care. Your mail, Congressman. And I have your phone log as well. Wonderful. Any reason why I should read any of it? Probably all say the same thing. Well, until you finish your term, they're still your constituents, Congressman. You should at least know what they think. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, listen to this. I just had to tell you how moved I was by your speech. And by the courage I must have taken to tell the truth like that. I feel so proud to be represented by someone who is willing to own up to his mistakes and stand by his family, no matter the consequences. You must have known that speech could cost you your career, but you did it anyway. From where I sit, the only kind of politician worth voting for is one who doesn't care about votes. You'll always have mine. I mean, they can't be all like that. Oh, they are pretty much. Oh, there, are, there are a few expressing outrage and indignation, but so far, the mail is running five to one in your favor, and the phone calls are running seven to one. Oh, it's not possible. Oh, but it is, Congressman. From the look of it, I'd say you're still in the running and stronger than ever. I'm not going to be able to bring Julie over, Mom. She's gone away for a little while. Where? She never told me she was going away. She was a little worried about Allison. Worried? Oh, of course, because of what happened to Mark. Is that it, Tyler? Y yes, she wanted to be sure Allison would be safe. I never thought about that before. 
of it, it all makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, the criminals that you were after... Mark started that committee, they... Tyler, they could have shot Mark. Oh, it's a possibility. Oh, I knew it. I just knew you were all wrong to suspect Jared Morgan of this. Well, I knew it because Jared Morgan could never have done this. No, no, I just... I just won't believe that. Tell her and you'll jeopardize her life. I'm warning you, Mark, don't do it. I have to do it. You have given me no choice. I still can't marry Clarissa without telling her you're alive. You don't know what you're doing. I know what I have to do. Now get out of here. She's waiting to walk down that aisle, Mark. And she loves you. Get her out, Baxter. Julie. 